um, determining people's property rights, defining the limits of government power. And it says, we deal with the most intimate and important concerns of personal and family relationships. Um, and they, this one really, I think, tells a lot about the approach here in Morris and Sussex, and I hope all the state courts. Although we cannot and should not give every person the decision sought, we can and should treat every person involved in our court system with fairness, respect, and dignity. We want all who enter our courthouse to leave it feeling they have been treated decently. That's a pretty good mission statement. And, and that, is, that is what we strive to do on a daily basis. Now let's go to the courts and see and talk about what you're actually doing in the different parts. There are um, divisions within the Superior Court. Could you describe yes. what those divisions are? For example, in the Superior Court, which is a trial level court, um, in Morris and Sussex County, as in every vicinage, we have different divisions. We have a family division, which handles divorces, handles adoptions, handles guardianships, handles any type of abuse and neglect cases involving children or termination of parental rights, very serious matters, mm -hmm. uh, matters uh, that affect families, um, affect children. Um, and that division um, is a very hands-on division in terms of the judge working with um, the individuals in court, and we have a number of services to assist families in that regard. And I know that you practice in that area, and you're very familiar with that. Um, and of describe, course, you, if you just describe a few of those types of services that are out there in the family, sure. in the family uh, for part. example, we have helping us and assisting us in our court system are a number of volunteers. Uh, we have the court-appointed um, special advocates, what we call CASA, mm -hmm. C-A-S-A. -S and these are individuals who volunteer to assist and help families in terms of um, uh, problems involving children. Um, we work, of course, with the Division of Youth uh, Services, DIFUS, in, in with respect uh, to family matters. We also have, in the domestic violence area, um, we work with a number of volunteer groups to assist families uh, that may be involved in domestic violence or even individuals who may not be in a family structure uh, but who have had a dating relationship or another relationship where domestic violence um, uh, may be a factor. All right, so that's the, that's the family uh, part, and that's in the... Uh, I guess you would call it the chancery yes, division, right? Yes, that's part of what we call chancery, chancery. because those are not jury trial type matters. Uh, those are matters where the judge is hearing the evidence, um, having the individuals in front of him or her, um, and making decisions of what we call equitable type decisions because they do not involve per se someone being involved in a personal injury and seeking monetary damages. Rather, for example, in a divorce, it means you're equitable, equitably distributing property oh, right. uh, between a uh, husband and a wife who are seeking a divorce. Or you are um, creating a guardianship for the benefit of a child. Um, or you are seeking other type of relief in terms of a domestic violence uh, order, a restraining order, in terms of what contact individuals should not have and how that order would be implemented in that regard. So the, the, the Chancery Division is dealing with people, relationships, and relationships as opposed to just purely money. That's correct. Right? That's now, correct. So the, family division, the family part is within that. And then there's what we call the uh, general equity div uh, part. Yes. Right? Uh, in fact, you are the judge, as assignment judge, that sits in that seat as well. I right? sit in that seat as well, but we do have a presiding judge of the General Equity uh, Division, mm -hmm. who is uh, Judge Catherine Langlois, and she handles general equity matters on a day-to-day -day basis and also handles our probate calendar because probate matters also fall within our jurisdiction and are considered chancery type matters in the sense that they are um, non normally non-jury type matters. These are the, I think, among the most interesting 
of the cases, the, the general equity. Could you describe some of the types of cases that come through that part yes. in the Chancery Division? <clears throat> Let me talk about it in a twofold uh, aspect. Uh, one of the type of cases that I handle, um, which are what we call prerogative writ banners, which means those may be disputes between um, different municipalities. They may be public bidding disputes where a contractor has bid on a contract as to who is the lowest responsible bidder on a contract. It might be election law type disputes <coughs> or zoning matters where, uh, where developers or individuals seek certain relief from a town in terms of developing property and subdividing property. I hear all of those matters in both Morris and Sussex. So I'm dealing on a day-to-day -day basis with those type of matters where Judge Langlois might be hearing matters involving injunctive relief, someone who might be in a dis business dispute or is seeking uh, to enforce a restrictive covenant they might have uh, about an employee leaving a business and, and the individual is now seeking to enjoin that person from violating their, patric uh, their particular uh, contractual obligations. Those prerogative writs <coughs> cases that you handle, those are the, um, the headline, those are the banner news type cases that you, that you see. They uh, really affect a lot of people. There's, they're emotionally charged. They, uh, they might involve entire one town versus another town or the outcome of an election. Really high profile cases. That, that is true. That, um, and it does involve certainly <coughs> the town itself and there can be, for example, an election dispute involving uh, uh, who was elected as mayor of a town. Right. I had that dispute in, um, in Parsippany uh, and handled that matter and um, that matter went through the appellate courts up to the Supreme Court and back to me to have a hearing in that regard. Um, there are also times where individual town um, citizens will seek to uh, petition, formulate a petition as to um, whether or not an elected official should be recalled right. based upon uh, their position and I've handled those type of matters as well. Uh, how do you stay so calm through these highly charged cases? <laughs> I, I've seen you on the bench and you're, you're, you're very, you know, very calm and orderly and these are highly charged cases. Yeah. How do you do it? <laughs> well, I, I think it really comes from experience. Uh, as you know, Mark, I remember you uh, <laughs> when, when we were both young. Right, right. Um, and I started, um, been on the bench now over 19 years, almost 20 years. And I started in the family division. Uh, you appeared before right. me many times in the family division when I was in the family division and, and became the presiding judge of the family division. And then I moved to the civil division and had experience there and then to the criminal division and became the presiding judge of the criminal division. So sitting in all the different divisions gives you the kind of experience I think you need to be an assignment sure. judge. Let's go over to the law division. That's the division where you're talking about purely money, right? Well, and, and I guess criminals in that as well, but let's talk about the different parts of the law division. Yes. Okay. Um, I guess we could start with criminal. Right, that's in the law division. Yes, that is in the law division, the criminal part. And at a superior court level, that's the trial level, <coughs> where we hear all indictable matters. What that means is crimes from the fourth degree up to the first degree. And through the years, that also involved death penalty cases. As you know now, the death penalty um, is no longer law in New Jersey right. now. Uh, but over the years, um, it involved cases anywhere from a theft case, um, someone taking a car, for example, right through, of course, um, uh, murder cases and until recently death penalty cases. The criminal division handles all of those matters and now also has <coughs> a specialized court within it, which is the drug court. Yeah, why, why don't 